22-year-old Alyssa Hodge grew up in Georgetown with her parents and two siblings. With a desktop and dial-up connection, there was no thought of becoming a technology developer or having anything to do with this field. This all changed at the age of 12 when Alyssa was introduced to information technology in her first year at the St. Rose's High School. Well, we actually got the chance to do, well, we did information technology um, since Form 1 in high school. And I think just around then or just being exposed to that uh, since then was what kind of inspired me like into this field. She joined the field and finished her computer science degree at the University of Guyana. During her time at the university, she was an intern at V75 Inc., a local information technology company. The young technology developer was able to sharpen her skills and began the journey of problem solving through technology. I like that it's dynamic, as in uh, you come in every day and you kind of do something different every day. It's not the same thing. So it's like you get to solve different problems all the time. It's, not, it's never the same thing. Her latest development is a software which can basically transcribe audio to text. Um, so my newest project is called Session, which is an auto minute, uh, minute taker for meetings. And yeah, I think it's um, what it is is in the name. It just helps um, taking minutes in meetings a lot easier. So you don't have to you know, sit down and listen to everybody and type it out because I know that can get tedious. So the software would do that for you. Yeah, so it is using um, speech technologies right now to be able to listen to you and transcribe what you're saying so that you can have actual text um, the, the way that minutes are usually done. According to Alyssa, she developed this software to help persons who are employed to take minutes of meetings as she once took up this task and it was very tedious. So it was inspired from our internal meetings that we have. So um, every Monday we used to have this sync meeting where you would give your updates of like what you've done last week, what you plan on doing this week. and. Uh, those meetings would consist of probably close to like 30, maybe even more persons and um, our exec would take the minutes and I saw how tedious that was or how tedious it could be. I even took a turn one time, I don't recommend. Um, so that's where the idea came from. One of her aims is to reduce the use of papers in the healthcare system. Okay. Uh, I think it would be awesome if like our healthcare system was more automated. For example, what if someone comes in and they're completely like unconscious, just an example. They have diabetes, they have prior problems, now doctors or have to be digging through their files and stuff like that. Like they should already be able to go in, select the, like select the name and then it'll pull up an entire history and things like that. So that doctors can right away treat this person or take care of them because people just, um, like some people don't know what's going on with them so they end up in the emergency room, you know. The young entrepreneur told the newsroom that she imagines a system where doctors can be able to type a person's name into a computer and access their medical history. This, she said, can save a life. Vision it to look sort of like, like a kiosk where you can just start typing in your name and stuff like that and your entire history is going to come up and they can treat you right away without you know, all the extra hassle. Moving forward, her dream is to make Guyana a first world country through increased use of technology. Uh, I mainly just want to keep innovating and just continue solving problems because that makes me feel good. Bibi Katun, reporting for the newsroom.